In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is born. Glorify him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Chapter 2, verses 1 through to 12. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When, when Herod heard this, he was troubled, all of Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. So they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it was written by the prophets, but you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are not the least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you shall come a ruler, who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the young child, and when you have found him, bring back word to me, that I may come and worship him also. When they heard the king, they departed, and behold, the star which had been seen in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw a young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then, being divinely warned in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed for their own country another way. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true and faithful followers of yours. In the scripture reading today from St. Matthew, we read about those three wise men from the east. They came to Jerusalem, they saw a star, and they followed the star because it meant a king was born. So they followed him. They followed the star to Jerusalem. And then, then inquired there about this, what was happening. Does anybody know about this new king, the king of the Jews? Herod, of course, heard about it, being king. He was troubled. And so was all Jerusalem. He gathered the, the chief priests and the scribes of the people together inquired of them where Christ was to be born. So they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it was written by the prophets, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Of course, they're talking about Christ, aren't they? Jesus Christ. 
this child. So they then followed the star to Bethlehem and entered the house where Jesus was and his mother and Joseph. And they worshipped him and gave him gifts. Yes, gold, frankincense and myrrh. But in a dream, they were told not to go back to King Herod, but to go home another way. Today in the church, it is known as the Epiphany, where we see Christ the King born. It's also known as the Little Christmas, the Epiphany. We read how the wise men they're also commonly known as the Magi or the three wise kings. How they came. They were Gentiles. They weren't Jews. They came to Bethlehem and worshipped Christ, the King, the baby Jesus. So I urge you all to think about it, meditate upon this. How these Gentiles worshipped Christ, the Christ child. Pray for the understanding. Pray for the faith that you too will continue to worship Christ, Jesus Christ. And give him a glory every time when you pray and thank him. Thank him always. Glory to you, O God. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most holy Theotokos, save us. Amen. <laughs>